Good afternoon everyone. I, Dr. Ashwini Bhatt from the Department of Mathematics take this opportunity to welcome each one of you to the valedictory function of these three days extended International Conference on Recent Advances in Fluid Mechanics jointly organized by the Department of Mathematics, Mechanical and Industrial Engineering and Department of Aeronautical and Automobile Engineering of Manipal Institute of Technology, Manipal. This evening is an inspiring evening for our institute. The actively growing participation of participants from different universities across the globe affirms the relevance and meaningfulness of the celebration. The conference was a synergy of young and dynamic researchers and well-versed eminent field pioneers. Overall, it was a fruitful event and I hope all our participants would have benefited by attending this three-day conference virtually. Let me first acknowledge the presence of our eminent guests. It's indeed our pleasure to have Dr. Dharmendra Tripathi from NIT Uttarakhand as the chief guest and Dr. Jagannath K, director MIT Bengaluru campus as the guest of honor for today's valedictory ceremony who have joined us virtually. We have the president of the function here with us, Dr. Somashekar Abhat, Joint Director, MIT Manipal, and special guest, Dr. Ashok Rao, Associate Director, Research and Consultancy, Dr. Sudhakara Ji, Head, Department of Mathematics, Dr. Satyashankar Sharma, Head, Department of Mechanical and Industrial Engineering, Dr. Dayanand Pai, Head, Department of Aeronautical and Automobile Engineering. I now request Dr. Manjanath Gudekote, Convener ICRA FM 2022 to escort the dignitaries to the dais. Audience, please accompany their footsteps with a huge round of applause. Thank you, sirs. Prayer is an invocation of the heart, a calling forth of divine energies to be manifested in one's life. Time spent in prayers, refreshes, renews and strengthens. I now call upon Ms. Shruti, research scholar from the Department of Mathematics, to lead us into the prayer. Thank you, Shruti. A warm welcome is the first sign of hospitality. Words of welcome fill an occasion with warmth and make one feel they are meant to be there. I now request Dr. Sudhakara Ji, Head of the Department, Mathematics, to deliver the welcome address. Good afternoon. 
dignitaries on the dais and off the dais, and my dear friends, I am happy to welcome you all to this valedictory function. First of all, today's chief guest, Dr. Dharmendra Tripathi, a professor in the Department of Mathematics, NIT Uttarakhand. A hearty welcome to you, sir. And guest of honor of this function, Dr. Jagannath, Director, MIT Bangalore. Uh, he is not a new person to us, all of us maybe. He was with us for uh, a long time. A hearty welcome to you, sir. <laughs> President of today's function, Dr. Somashir Karabhat, Joint Director, MIT Manipur. A hearty welcome to you, sir. Dr. Ashok Rao, Associate Professor, Research and Consultancy, is a professor in the Department of Physics. A hearty welcome to you, sir. I welcome all the HODs and my friends who are gathered here. My friends who are gathered here. And I welcome all the delegates. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I request organizers to florally welcome our guests. I now request Dr. Rajshekar Chaudhary from the Department of Mathematics, MIT Bangalore, one of the organizing secretaries, to present the conference summary. Over to you, Raj. Am I audible? Hello? Yeah. Hello everyone. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you for having me. I'm Dr. Rajshekar Chaudhary, Assistant Professor at Manipal Institute of Technology, Bengaluru. I'm going to present today a summary of the conference ICRAFM 2022. Conferences can be an excellent opportunity for an intensified exchange and debate on a research issue of your choice. They allow you to emerge from the solitary working condition of doing PhD research and contact like-minded people in your field. The chance to mobilize and discuss your ideas face-to-face -face and to find out what other students and academicians have explored in related areas can be invaluable and further it will help in the development of your own research. The ICRFM 2022 organized by Department of Mathematics, Department of Mechanical and Industrial Engineering, Department of Aeronautical and Automobile Engineering, Manipal Institute of Technology, Mahi, with the support of Manipal Institute of Technology, Bengaluru, Manipal University, Jaipur, Sikkim, Manipal University, Sikkim, Manipal International University, Malaysia, and Manipal Academy of Higher Education, Dubai, along with Apply Partners. On behalf of Organizing Committee and Mahi Manipal, we are grateful for Council of Scientific and Industrial Research for sponsoring the conference. Over the three days of conference, 4 to 6, October 4 to 6, 2022, the ICRAFM 2022 created forum for practitioners and specialists for fruitful discussion in the field of fluid dynamics. ICRAFM 2022 combined expert presentation by specialists with structured discussion session on the challenging and opportunities in the fluid dynamics. The objectives of the conference is to poster discussion and strengthen connection between experts and research student fraternity. To uphold fluid dynamics as a multidisciplinary which involves multi-departmental researchers. To conduct series of conference with the title ICRAFM once in a year around different demography. The conference started with an inaugural function on October 4, 2022 at 10 a.m. in Sir MV Seminar Hall, MIT Mahe Manipal, both in physical and online mode. The inauguration started with a prayer seeking blessing from Almighty. The guest of honor, along with director, convener, and heads of the three departments, 
released the souvenir of the conference. Chief guest, Dr. K. Vajravelu, Professor, Department of Mathematics, University of Central Florida, USA, addressed the participants and motivated them towards application of fluid dynamics in multidisciplinary areas. Guest of honor, Lieutenant General, Dr. M.D. Venkatesh, Vice Chancellor, Mahi Manipal, addressed the participants and shared his view on the importance of multidisciplinary research. Commander Dr. Anil Rana, Director, MIT Manipal, gave the presidential address and informed about the opportunity and support in MIT Manipal for carrying out multidisciplinary research works. Vote of thanks. The three-day conference comprised eight keynote addresses with one speaker per session of duration of one and a half hour. Each speaker was given enough time for questions and doubts raised by the participants. The first keynote address was given by Professor K. Vajravelu, Professor, University of Central Florida, USA, between 11.15 a.m. to 12.45 p.m. on the topic, a semi-analytical method and its application to system of non-linear ODEs and PDEs arising in science and engineering models. In the afternoon, the second keynote address was given by Professor Suman Chakravarti, Indian professor from Indian Institute of Technology, Karakpur, on the topic, Materials Engineering Interfaces Microfluidics Towards Probing Cancer Metastasis on a Chip. On day two, the first keynote address, that is keynote address three, was given by Professor Saijun Liao from Shanghai Geotong University, China, on the topic, Clean Numerical Simulation and its Application in Three-Body Problems and Turbulence. The fourth keynote address was given by Professor Irfan Anjum Badruddin Magami on the topic blood flow in artery, a CFD approach. In the afternoon session, the first keynote address was given by Professor Odi Makinde from Stellenbosch University, South Africa on the topic modeling hydromagnetic mixed convection of nanofluid within a concentric pipe. The last session on day two was delivered by Professor K.V. Prasad who is a professor in the Vijayanagara Shri Krishna Devara University, Ballari, on the topic, numerical solutions of coupled boundary layer problems, an application to nanofluids with temperature dependent transport properties. On, on the last day, that is on today, uh, that is in the morning session, the first keynote address again was given by Professor Dharman Tripathi, who is also a chief guest of today's validatory function on the topic, a fluid dynamical mathematical approach for progression of novel coronavirus SARS-CoV-2. And later, Professor Hakan Ochtov from Pirat University, Turkey, gave the lecture on recent advances in control of melting time of phase change materials in curvilinear closed spaces. Further, on day two, we actually had Professor Ali Chemka with College of Science and Technology, Kuwait, keynote address because of some emergency, he could not address the participant live. However, he has shared his recorded video with us and the recorded video we have uploaded in ICRFM 2022 YouTube channel. Also, we have already uploaded four recorded keynote addresses in the YouTube channel and the remaining ones will upload in a couple of days. I'm happy to announce that we have received 365, sorry, 370 total number of registrations or towards ICR FM 22 and 240 total number of abstracts and 80 full length papers. The abstracts are categorized into two themes. One is applied mathematics and application of numerical methods in fluid and thermal sciences. Totally 21 parallel sessions were organized specifically 14 on day one and seven on day two. Out of 240 abstract received, 210 participants presented their abstracts in parallel session and out of 80 papers received, 75 participants have presented their full length papers in parallel sessions. We offered four journals for the conference publications, which are the first one is a special issue that is nanotechnology and renewable energy, which is going to be published by nanotechnology, which is indexed in Scopus and Web of Science with impact factor 5.076. The lead editor being the one of the keynote speaker that is Professor Anjum Magami. 
The second special issue we had is frontiers in technology for renewable energy and sustainability. The journal is sustainability, which is again indexed in Scopus and Web of Science with impact factor 3.251 with lead editor, again, Professor Monjum Anjum Magami. The third special issue that is modeling and simulation of transport phenomena in biological and energy system, which is going to be published by journal Frontiers in Mechanical Engineering, which is indexed in Scopus and Quartal 2, myself being the chief editor, along with Professor Darmin Tripathi and Hanmesh Vidya. The last journal which we had was the Journal of Advanced Research in Fluid Mechanics and Thermal Sciences, which is indexed in Scopus and Quartile 3. So all the papers received through conference EG Chairling and also through conference official email ID were sent for peer review process. We already sent the reviewer comments to some of the authors wherein we have received two reviewer comments. In some of the cases, we have received only one review. Once we receive the other review, we will communicate it to the participants as soon as possible. The technical committee is committed to complete the entire review process by the end of this month. Thank you. Thank you, sir. With this report of the conference, I now request Dr. Manjanath Kudekote, convener, to give us a brief feedback about the conference events. Good afternoon, everyone. Respected Director of MIT, Mangalore Campus, Dr. K. Jagannath Sir. Respected Joint Director, MIT, Dr. Somshekar Bhatt. Respected Chief Guest of our function, Dr. Dharmendra Tripathi. Respected RNC Director, Dr. Ashok Rao. Respected HODs of Mathematics, Mechanical and Aeronautical Departments. Dignitaries of the dais and on the dais. It gives me immense pleasure in briefing the feedback of the conference. The International Conference on Recent Advances in Fluid Mechanics, ICRAFM 2022, is being conducted together by the three departments, Mathematics, Mechanical and Aeronautical Engineering, from last three days of conference. ICRAFM 2022 was huge success with the majority of feedbacks feeling that it was beneficial experience that they both learned from the from and enjoyed a very lot. Collecting the conference feedback is one of the important role, vital role, what we can say, of planning or organizing any conference or any event. Organizing team of our conference prepared a Google form for collecting the responses that are valuable, honest, and insightful. We have collected the feedback after day one and day two because these two days are very crucial for me. The first day we are conducted the inaugural session thus, and a keynote, two keynote sessions and the technical presentations. In the second day we have four paper presentation and a keynote session. After the technical presentations we have submit, we have sent the feedback form to all the participants and we have collected the feedback form. Now I am going to brief about these feedback forms through the PPTs. I am sharing you. If you go through the, the conference feedback, day one report, we have collected, we have asked some different questions on the <coughs> designations of the conference. That is, we are actually is mainly focused on the research scholars. Now, what we are expecting the same thing, it has 80% uh, uh, of the thing is from the research scholars, the rest of them all are involving in the conference, professors, associate professors, assistant professors, students and others also. Next uh, question, we have how would be the inaugural ceremony that we have the question, then most of them I think more than I say, 80 percent of them, they are satisfied to our conference given as a, and their chart says that. How the third question, how are the rate of the cooperation of the event organizers? How far the information provided to you 
prior help to the understanding the flow of the event. In this, we have received a maximum response, a good response from this. State your level, we are asked to the question to the participant, state your level of agreement to the statement. The duration of the event was just, uh, was just right, in that they are given the statistics from below. Yes. It is a very, very important uh, slide, what we can say, did the event meet the expectations? Okay, in the beginning of the day and the inaugural session, I already told you, I assure that we are going to, it the last day of the conference, we are going to tell about the expectation of our conference. The statistics will show that uh, most of the, I think, more than 90-96% participants, they have satisfied to our conference because of that slide shows that it is a very, very important. Uh, next question, how satisfied with the keynote address one by given by the director P. Adhirvelu? This is the statistics shown that. Overall, how satisfied are you with the event? The current feedback from day one report, the many of the participants, they have given a good response, very well organized, organize such events in future and kindly inform through mail. If you invited more number of speakers, that would be appreciated. It is many of the participants, they have given this uh, statement. Okay, we have to include this in upcoming conferences and many of the participants, they have given that, I hope that the conference increases our knowledge. It is the main motive of our conference. This event was best conference or ever attended. Thank you for that comment. And the event was excellent, but since uh, we students are also attending, it is good if the professor who are explaining, very try to explain in very simple way that we can understand still better. This is only my opinion, but the professors and their knowledge experience towards this suggest in outstanding. Because we are, yes. Uh, this is the day two conference, you know, feedback of feedback. In day two, actually, we have uh, conducted the four keynote speakers. They are regular keynote speakers. From all, all the keynote speakers, they are uh, uh, given the very good lecture. And uh, in that, uh, we are asking that please state your level of agreement for the statement. The duration of the event was just right. In that, uh, the statistic shows that it is a uh, very... Uh, most of the participants there agree. The next. Uh, how satisfied were with the keynote address three? Professor Shijan Leia here when we started in the next uh, last yesterday. It was a little bit technical problem. We have started a little one five ten minutes late, but the participants are very much interested in this uh, session. Even though we have a little bit ten minutes late, also many of the participants they are satisfied with their lecture, and the responses are shown there. Uh, how satisfied were you with the keynote address six? Uh, K. K. V. Prasad, Professor, Department of Mathematics, VSK University, Ballari. Uh, actually, uh, we have already Raju, uh, Dr. Rajshaykar already explained that we have uh, one of the speaker who is unable to talk in the studies, but instead of that, we have arranged immediately. We are asked to the Professor uh, K. V. Prasad. He has agreed, and I thank Dr. K. V. Prasad, and uh, immediately he is. Uh, uh, continued the session and the participants are very happy about that one. After that also the uh, allotted speaker also given the shared the slides. Okay. Uh, next. Here in the next day conference overall how satisfied when you with the event of the day two. This is the maximum participants given in the very good feedback. And uh, at the end uh, this conference help us on nanofluid research. All of the all the talks are very informative. Thank you for the organizers. Many of the participants has given this kind of uh, uh, feedback, and I feel blessed to be a part of such informative session. Uh, thank you so much. 
good coordination, good response to participants. Uh, also, it was a very good experience. Many of them are given that. Please provide PPT of all the sessions. Okay, we are definitely will uh, share all the PPTs of the sessions in a couple of days. With this uh, brief uh, feedback, I thank you one and all present here and those who are in the online also. Thank you one and all. Thank you, sir. I hope ICRA FM 2022 has added a few memories to all our participant lives. We would like to know how well have our efforts resonated to you. I request Ms. Anusha Vade, a participant from MS Ramaya University of Applied Sciences, to unmute yourself and give a brief uh, uh, feedback. Yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is Anusha Vadde from uh, Rama, Research Scholar from Rama University of Applied Sciences. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, Ashwini Bhatt, ma'am, uh, for providing this opportunity to speak about uh, this conference. And uh, first of all, uh, I, I, I just want to share my experience while attending this conference and all. Uh, uh, first, after seeing this international conference on research advances in fluid mechanics topics, uh, the topics are like motivated me to apply uh, the sum of my research work into this uh, conference. So in that case, I have presented my two papers uh, in the topic of uh, in the technical sessions of application of numerical methods in fluid and thermal sciences. Uh, act, uh, frankly to speak, the organization was very good. And whatever the queries, if I ask related to the, uh, I mean, conference uh, questions and all, uh, the uh, people are like uh, very motivated to like, uh, I was like, uh, okay, I shouldn't get any panic and all. So you can give the conference and all very in the, a calm way and all like that they have given the such a motivated and all. Uh, and the way handling during the session one and five uh, by both Pramod and Varun also excellent it is. Uh, before starting the conference, I mean the session and all they used to call and the session is going to start and all. Uh, so it's very good and the keynotes particularly to speak about the keynote speakers uh, I really enjoyed the session and one of the session that I really would like to attend that uh, blood flow artery in CFD approach but due to highly demand so I couldn't attend that session also um, so I hope uh, again the I have seen just now has a second international conference uh, ICRAFM in the Bangalore uh, I hope I would like to attend this conference in the offline mode. Uh, and once again, uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity to present my papers in the conference. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anusha. I request uh, Mr. Nitish Gupta, participant from the Department of Mathematics, NIT Varangal. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, MIT Manipal and uh, organizer of uh, ICRFFM uh, for pro providing us uh, such a wonderful environment uh, for presentation and uh, research discussion. And uh, this is also dedicated to the day of uh, our Professor K. Bajavalu, sir. Uh, one most important uh, thing of this conference is uh, our keynote speakers. So if we will go uh, through Google Scholar or ResearchGate, and uh, then we will find some, uh, you know, very good and excellent research work, which is done by our uh, keynote speakers. And uh, one more interesting thing we all know about the homotopy analysis method but the first time we got approach opportunity to attend uh, you know live talk and which is given by uh, sujan sir and uh, some more in informative and uh, interesting discussion by suman chakravarti sir dharmendra party sir prasad sir makande sir and uh, all of his speakers uh, content are very good and very helpful for us and uh, in the last, uh, again, thanks to the organizers for uh, giving me a chance to present a paper in this conference. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Nitish. Dr. Asha Patel, from BLD Vijayapur. Yeah. Good afternoon, everybody. I am Dr. Asha Patel, assistant professor from the Department of Mathematics, BLDES Engineering College, Vijayapur. Uh, it's a proud privilege uh, for me to speak a few words amongst the esteemed scholars present there. Uh, I could firstly thank all the organizers for the wonderful organization of the conference. 
all the sessions were uh, so well managed without any flaws that I never felt it's online. Uh, thank you, organizers. I'm very much pleased uh, to listen to the keynote addresses from the eminent scholars. Uh, so usually we all write uh, many applications and writing the research articles. But in these three days, I could uh, actually visualize these applications through the wonderful presentations of the speakers. Uh, the talks of uh, Professor Vajravelu and Dr. Suman Chakravarti gave a, a deeper knowledge of modeling the problems and their applications. Uh, I, I usually used to wonder what is that lab on chips. So that lab on chips was very much very neatly explained by Suman Chakravarti, sir. Thank you, sir. And even the KV Prasad sir gave us an in-depth knowledge of the numerical uh, methods. Uh, and uh, uh, through the conference, I could even understand some of the concepts which I'm not used to, uh, which I don't carry on, that is the CNS applications, the CFD approach, all those things. So, and even in this today's morning session, uh, we all came to know the mathematics behind the spread and uh, control of corona and influenza disease uh, by Dr. Tripathi sir. And even the second session was also in very much informative. And even the presenters, the research scholars who presented, uh, they were also, uh, they, we came to know about the trending research areas and the varied uh, approaches of what all is going on nowadays. Uh, in all these three days, I can say I enjoyed and I and uh, was very much informative also. I thank uh, all the speakers and the organizers of uh, ICRAFM for the wonderful organization. I like to thank the organizers for giving me an opportunity to express myself. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you, ma'am. Any other participant would like to give uh, their experience, share their experience? Please unmute yourself and you can share your experience. Good afternoon, good afternoon everyone. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. A very good afternoon to everyone, respected professors and all the participants. Uh, myself, Dr. Ashwini Amra, working as Associate Professor in the Department of Mathematics, Bapuji Institute of Engineering and Technology, Dhawan Gere. Uh, I have completed my PhD under the guidance of Dr. K. S. Prasarajappa, sir. And uh, now I would like to share my experience about uh, the uh, conference ICRAFM 2022. It was really well organized. It was really well organized and it was a great opportunity to all the participants to be the part of this international conference. It was a very good platform for all the researchers also to exchange our views in our respective field of research. Myself with my guide, Dr. K. S. Basarajapa, sir, we are also working in the field of mathematical modeling in biomechanics. And this conference has helped me for my knowledge updation in my research field of research, uh, respective field of uh, research. And uh, it also created a platform for all our uh, research students to present their papers and also to work with different ideas in future also. And a bundle of research work can be carried out in the field of applied mathematics, fluid mechanics, heat and mass transfer, and many more. I request all the participants to make use of such platforms which strengthens the quality of research. I especially thank all the keynote speakers for various, uh, from various disciplines uh, for sharing their valuable contents with all of us. And a special thanks to all the organizing committee, Dr. Manjunath sir and team, uh, for creating such a pl wonderful platform for us uh, so that we can exchange the views, uh, whatever we have regarding the research. Uh, this is the feedback from my side. Uh, once again, I thank one and all for uh, organizing this wonderful uh, conference. Thank you, one and all. Thank you, ma'am. Good afternoon, everyone. When you are around uh, enormously successful people, you realize that their success is not an accident. It's about hard work. I now call upon Dr. Satyashankar Sharma, HOD Department of Mechanical and Industrial Engineering to introduce Dr. Dharmendra Tripathi, Professor from NIT Uttarakhand to the audience. <coughs> so, good afternoon, dignitaries on the desk, dignitaries of the desk and delegates attending this validatory program in virtual mode. It is my privilege and pleasure to introduce Dr. Dharmendra Tripathi to the August gathering. 
Dr. Dharmendra Tripathi is a doctorate in applied mathematics from Indian Institute of Technology, BHU, and presently serving as associate professor in the Department of Mathematics at the National Institute of Technology, Uttarakhand. Prior to joining NIT Uttarakhand, he has served as a faculty member in reputed institutions like Manipal University, Jaipur, NIT Delhi, IIT Roper, and Bits Pilani, Hyderabad. Dr. Dharmendra has published more than 170 papers in reputed international journals, edited two books in Springer, edited one book in CRC, authored 10 book chapters, and has presented more than 40 papers in international and national conferences. He has supervised six PhD students, and currently three PhD students are working under his supervision. His research H index is 43 and I10 index is 129 and his papers have more than 5,500 citations. He has delivered more than 100 lectures as invited speaker, keynote speaker and resource person in various conferences, workshops, FDPs, STTP, STC, refresher courses, etc. He is a lifetime member of various professional bodies, member of editorial board of two journals, and reviewer for more than 50 international journals. His research work is focused on the mathematical modeling and simulation of biological flows in deformable domains, Newtonian and non-Newtonian fluids, dynamics of various infectious diseases, microfluids, CFD, biomechanics, heat transfer, nanofluids, energy systems, numerical methods, etc. Dr. Dharmendra has been listed in top 2% researchers across the world as per updated science-wide author databases of standardized citation indicators for the year 2020-21. Dr. Dharmendra has been bestowed with President Award in 2017 by the Manipal University Jaipur for outstanding contribution, Professor P. R. Sharma Memorial Award from International Academy for Physical Sciences IAPS in 2021 and has also become an Associate Fellow of IAPS in 2022. He has some prestigious fellowships namely INAE Fellowship from 2015 to 2018 and postdoctoral fellowships, NBHM, Dr. D.S. Kothari, and Indo-EU in 2010. Dr. Dharmendra has been discharging additional administrative responsibilities at uh, NIT Uttarakhand as a Dean Faculty Welfare and Dean Student Welfare since March 2022. He has discharged many administrative responsibilities of the institutes like in-charge registrar, Dean RNC, CBO, Dean Students Welfare, Chief Warden, and the Chairman of various institute committees. With this brief introduction, I present to you the Chief Guest of today's validatory program, Dr. Dharmendra Tripathi. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. On behalf of MIT Manipal, I consider it a privilege to welcome Dr. Dharmendra Tripathi to deliver valedictory address. Your presence is indeed a source of motivation. We look forward to hear your words. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Sarma, for uh, introducing me. Uh, a very good afternoon to all of you. Professor uh, Jagannath, Director MIT Bangalore, Professor So Sekar, but Professor Sudhakar, Professor S. S. Sarma, Professor Dayanand, and Professor Manjunath. First of all, I would like to congratulate the entire team of uh, organizing uh, team for con international conference on recent advances in fluid mechanics, ICRAFM 2022. Because uh, if I can see the list of invited speaker and the keynote speaker particularly, 
who are working and contributing in the field of fluid mechanics, uh, especially Professor Vajralu, Professor Suman Chakravati, Professor Liao, Professor Irfan, Professor Makinde, Professor K.V. Prasad, Professor Ostap. They are having more than uh, 15,000, 20,000 citations. Uh, and uh, they have published more than 200 papers. Uh, Professor Suman Chakravati has also uh, awarded the Vatnagar Award in the field of uh, excellent contribution in the field of microfluidics and other uh, <laughs> working in the fluid dynamics. I can tell you that uh, fluid dynamics uh, is uh, having the a lot of application in various domain. Uh, many people like from the applied mathematics working on the fluid dynamics, from the mechanical engineering, uh, they are working in the fluid dynamics, civil engineering, they are working in fluid dynamics, chemical, environmental, energy sector. So if we can see the application, because nowadays uh, this is the demand of uh, multidisciplinary aspect, multidisciplinary research, and uh, we should work uh, together. And uh, when we have uh, such type of platform where all uh, expert from the different discipline, like from the mathematics, from the mechanical engineering, from the civil engineering, they will deliver their uh, lecture, their work, in a single platform, and they will also uh, work together on a such type of problem. It will help for the nation, it will help for the society, and uh, definitely the output will work uh, for the uh, major uh, problems and uh, complexity of the nature. So such type of uh, uh, platform is always encouraging to young generation, young researcher, who will come in a single platform, listen to the experts from the different domain. They will think about the new problem. They will have some new ideas. They have some new innovative uh, problem. And then they will come. And this is another aspect where we can also collaborate with the other people from the other countries, from the other uh, uh, discipline. And uh, it is this type of conference are always helpful for the young person and also for the uh, speakers uh, who are working in the different area. Because when we are listening some other people, then we have uh, some problem like uh, uh, other uh, other speaker is working in some particular area and I am working in some particular area. So what is the different uh, our perspective or what is the different analysis? what they are working. I can understand and I, I will try to uh, include, I will try to incorporate those ideas in our work and definitely the new problem will come, new solution will come. So such type of uh, uh, platform are always uh, uh, beneficial for everyone. And uh, as I told you that uh, uh, this fluid dynamics uh, topic is very much important and uh, most of the problems in the nature if I can relate, most of the things are related to fluid because uh, there are three mediums in the nature, solid, gas, liquid, and liquid and gas are under the fluid. So fluid is uh, categorized in the two parts. So if we can take, as per the mathematics, <coughs> we can take the percentage of the uh, medium, like uh, out of three, two are in the fluid. So. 60, 66% uh, uh, we can cover the nature uh, on working in fluid dynamics. So uh, if we uh, work on this particular field and relate in the healthcare, energy system, environmental system, or in some other field, then we are able to recommend or we are able to find out the maximum number of solution, whether the problem like in the pandemic, we are uh, we are witness that uh, many people are working in the fluid dynamics. They have given the a lot of solution, like uh, how the virus is uh, infecting, how the virus is uh, spreading from person to person and the other. So many many fluid dynamics people, many biomedical engineers, many mechanical engineers, they developed various type of uh, technology, various type of people. Uh, various type of uh, 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 devices 
and the various type of uh, mathematical model developed by the mathematician whether we are able to give the prediction many 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 times uh, it is not possible to do the all the experimental work uh, all the time because we don't know what is the uh, what is the prediction for tomorrow what is the prediction for after one year so for that type of things we need to do the mathematical analysis and mathematics is very important and uh, this this is the good initiative taken by the department of mathematics department of mechanical engineering and department of around of the manipal institute of technology bangalore that uh, all the departments uh, come forward in a single platform and organize uh, such wonderful uh, conference so i congratulate I, i once again congratulate to entire organizing team for this uh, uh, conference and i also suggest that uh, this is the online uh, conference uh, and uh, i will suggest that uh, next version of such type of conference you can plan in the hybrid mode so that some good speaker can uh, meet uh, at uh, mit and uh, they will uh, discuss on some uh, good problem and they will also think about the good collaboration because in the research uh, we 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 cannot uh, grow without collaboration without network without uh, uh, team work if we think about that i am expertise in this particular field and i can do uh, good work i cannot share my views to other then this is not a good way in the research or in the uh, this particular field because as a researcher i i can uh, what i can uh, think in this particular area we need to discuss our work with others and we should learn from the others so that we can grow and we are able to do good work so i can uh, request professor jagannath because we we have already uh, we have already organized some uh, conference with manipal university jaipur uh, when he was there uh, together and uh, we are thinking that uh, we such we we can create such a platform and we invite good speaker in a single platform single place and we can make a team so that we can good uh, we can work together and we can uh, we can contribute for the institute we can contribute for the society we can contribute for the nation so thank you very much for inviting me and it is my honor to interact you all people because i am very uh, young and i am learning i am like students and uh, whatever the experience you people will share definitely i will learn and uh, uh go ahead in this direction thank you thank you very much thank you sir for your inspirational words we have uh, dr jagannath k the director mit bangalore virtually with us as guest of honor i request dr danan pai hod department of aeronautical and automobile engineering to introduce our guest of honor to all our participants respected dignitaries on the days of the days delegates and uh, all gathered here my dear friends also it is my privilege to introduce uh, dr jagannath kurodi to the august gathering uh, dr jagannath kurodi is the director of for engineering <coughs> programs at mit bangalore campus before this assignment he has been working as dean faculty of engineering at manipal university jaipur rajasthan for 3 years Dr. Koroli has more than 35 years of teaching and research experience in technical education. In his uh, long tenure at MIT Manipal, Dr. Koroli has taken several assignments, both academic and administration. He worked as uh, associate director for alumni and international relations in MIT Manipal from 2009 to 2014, and head of the department of mechanical and manufacturing engineering from 2016 to 2018. Born in Korodi, a coastal village in Kundapura, Kundapura Taluk, Dr. Korodi has his early education in Kundapura and did his bachelor's of engineering from University of Vishwasharya College of Engineering, UVC, Bangalore, in mechanical engineering, master's of technology in engineering management from Bangalore University, and PhD in tribology from Mahi. Dr. Korodi, in his 35 plus years of experience as teacher and researcher. has published more than 75 research papers in reputed national and international journals and in conferences 
and has reviewed more than 20 PhD theses. His area of interest in teaching and research are refrigeration and air conditioning, cryogenics, renewable energy systems, and tribology. As a passionate academician, Dr. Karudi has introduced several new courses in engineering at MIT Manipal and Manipal University Jaipur with contemporary curriculum design and innovative teaching learning processes. Introducing the concept of outcome-based education and creating awareness among the faculty and students about this modern method of technical education is another passionate area of Dr. Kohli's focus. Other than teaching, learning and quality improvement in technical education, Dr. Kohli has organized several conferences, workshops and delivered keynote addresses in national and international conferences of repute. Dr. Kohli is also serving as educational uh, editorial board member for International Journal of Tribology and Journal of Refrigeration and Air Conditioning. He has also served as Board of Studies member for Syllabus Revision for University Vishwasharya College of Engineering, Bangalore, and Malnad Engineering College, Hassan. Dr. Korudi is a life member of Institution of Engineers, Tribology Society of India, and Indian Society for Technical Education. With this brief introduction, I request our guest of honor, Dr. Korudi, to address the gathering. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Dayanand, for the nice introduction. Very good afternoon. Am I audible to everybody? Yes, sir. Ah, okay. So, very good afternoon for everyone participating in this uh, valedictory program of three day international conference on recent advances in fluid mechanics. And very nice to see all my former, co former colleagues on the same platform. It's a delight to watch you all. And I'm really jealous here to be sitting alone in Bangalore to see you all in the same platform. I should have been there. My apologies for not coming to the conference physically because I wanted to come. But at the last minute, due to some pressing work here, I had to cancel my program and uh, attending this program online. So chief guest of today's function, Dr. Dharmendra Tripathi, whom I had a lot of interaction uh, with him uh, during my tenure in Manipal University, Jaipur. And we had organized the several uh, conferences also. And uh, he is also will be associating with us in several conferences here. He has already assured me that he will be associating with us and all other dignitaries uh, presenting here. I'm very happy and proud to be a part of this program because this subject is very close to my heart. When I started my teaching career in MIT Manipal, the one of the subject given to me was fluid mechanics. I taught it for a few batches and I really like this subject. Today, it has grown rapidly, advancing the advancement have taken place in many fields and it has totally become interdisciplinary. And it is an advantage for the researchers because it is an ever growing field. Today only we talk about uh, the new technologies like artificial intelligence, machine learning, cloud computing, etc. But the field like uh, fluid mechanics, fluid dynamics, as Dr. Dharmendra Tripathi has already stated, it, it, cannot, it cannot be secondary to anyone else. And all these other technologies can supplement the growth of this particular field, the fluid mechanics, especially the machine learning. Because today, fluid mechanics and fluid dynamics handles enormous amount of data. And to handle this data and get the useful information from this data, especially machine learning techno techniques are very useful. And machine learning algorithms are more useful in definitely automating the flow control or even optimization of the flow. So definitely all these newer technologies will help this field to grow much higher heights. And this is the real the challenge for the new researchers our students, our research scholars to use these new technologies because the earlier researchers did not have this opportunity. At the time we were doing the research, even the computational limitations were there, a lot of computation limitations. But today all these limitations are not there. You, can, you are free to go for a kind of new innovation and invention using the new technologies. That is the advantage for them. And being 
in Bangalore, Mahe Bangalore. So it's a new flagship uh, campus of uh, Mahe, deemed university is an institu institution of eminence. And uh, yes, we have started last year with the engineering program. This year we have added many more programs like law, commerce and art, design, and uh, even uh, the management VBA we have added. So it is an opportunity, I, I invite all of you, and I take this opportunity to announce proudly that the next series of this conference will happen in Bangalore, Bangalore campus. And uh, this is a, a proud, uh, this will be a proud moment for all of us in Bangalore. And I'm very happy to say that already NIT, NIT Uttarakhand with the leadership of uh, Dr. Dharmendra Tripathi have already agreed to associate with us in this uh, conference, not in virtual mode, in the actual mode. Yeah, this is the website we have already created for this conference. And uh, I request all the authors or the researchers to bring with your new research articles and submit it to our conference. And it will be a great opportunity for us to meet with you and interact with you and an opportunity for you also to come here and see our campus. We have a very beautiful campus sprawling <coughs> in a land space of about 80 acres of land. And we have all state of the art infrastructure and definitely next one year, it is going to be an iconic kind of campus. So I invite you all here to have a conference in physical mode. But there are a lot of advantages for making the conference in physical mode because conference is not only about paper presentation. Paper presentation is one aspect of the conference where the researchers will present their paper and the interaction will take place. Lot of networking possibilities for the researchers, which is very much is essential today to grow in the research field and to make a collaborative kind of research. This will be only possible when the conference happens in the physical mode. And definitely we are going to do it. Of course, there is one disadvantage also. Today I have seen a lot of eminent keynote speakers, very quali uh, qualified, high profile people, people have given the keynote address in this conference. And defin definitely when we make it in the physical mode, it may be very Herculean task to bring together all these experts on the same day, on the same platform. So that is where, again, what uh, Dr. Dharmendra Tripathi has told, uh, organizing the conference in a hybrid mode is also advantageous, where the keynote speakers, reputed keynote speakers speaking virtually, where the conference delegates will be attending it physically. That may be the future of all the conferences, and it will be an advantage also. And uh, as I said, this conference and this field is very much interdisciplinary. I'm very happy to know that three departments in MIT, the mathematics department, mechanical and industrial engineering department, aeronautical and automobile department have come together to organize this conference. Because it is not now the limited, it's totally interdisciplinary subject. And as uh, Dr. Dharmendra Tripathi has already made it clear that the applications, not only from the technical point of view, then the everyday life applications are there in this particular field. And it, has, so it is a very good uh, objective that all of you have come together to organize this conference. There's a new trend and I, I really appreciate your efforts. Any success of the conference goes with two things. One is the topic you have chosen. You have chosen the right topic. And by choosing the right topic, it is not enough. You have to put in your effort. Because today, conferences are happening everywhere. Getting quality papers to the conference is not a simple task. It is very difficult to get quality papers for any particular conference. And with the, with, in spite of it, I have seen that the feedback given by the Dr. Manjuna saying that a lot of, lot of papers, good quality papers have come to this conference. And this is the, the showcase of that, what effort you have put to organize this conference. I congratulate all of you. And I really 
appreciate and i really request you because for the next conference uh, uh, because we are the child and mit manipal is our parent and as a child we don't make any request with the parent we only make the demand and they will be associating with the our conference also without any doubt and their support will definitely will be there and it has to be there and we will organize the next conference in mit bangalore with a great success with all your support and i really thank all the delegates of this conference and who have presented their papers i am sure that they are they are very 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 much enriched with the knowledge and they will use it in their further research work and it will be useful for the mankind and the society thank you thank you one and all thank you sir for your kind words i compliment the organizers of icra fm 2022 for the effort they have put in the kind of keynote sessions they have uh, organized and the participants they have attracted with such wonderful participants who have also presented their contributions in the field the time is apt to redeem them from their curiosity we have selected one pe one paper in each of the categories for the end researcher award the registration fee for our next conference will be waived off for the participants who received this award in addition to the certificate of appreciation with the permission of all the dignitaries i now announce the names of participants receiving the end researcher award from the aeronautical stream mr siddharth jina from the department of wind engineering graphic era university dehradun india for a, for his paper entitled behavior of pedestrian winds on raised terrains under the combined effect of twisted wind profile and atmospheric stratification congratulations from the field of applied mathematics ms lakshmi bn from the pg department of mathematics and research center in applied mathematics mes college of arts commerce and science maleshwaram bengaluru for her paper entitled the effect of mhd in a maxwell fluid over a stretching surface in the presence of suction injection parameter congratulations ma'am from the mechanical stream mr abhilash hn from the department of mechanical and industrial engineering manipal institute of technology manipal for his paper entitled influence of wss osi and otacity in the investigation of patient specific stenosed cardioid bifurcation bifurcation system congratulations abhilash <laughs> we also have our special guest on the dais dr ashok rao associate director research and consultancy who is a source of inspiration to all of us dr rao completed his bsc degree in physics from the saint saint stephen college delhi he continued to obtain his masters degree in solid state physics from delhi university he was awarded with doctoral degree in the field of high temperature superconductors by delhi university he has teaching experience since 1993 initially worked at a degree college in delhi continued his teaching at sikkim manipal university from 1997 to 2007 where he served as professor and later joined the department of physics here at mit manipal <coughs> professor ashok rao served as hod of the department of physics in this institution for the period 2009 to 2015 he was also the coordinator for the department of basic sciences mahi dr rao is currently heading the office of research and consultancy as associate director as an additional responsibility since january 2020 He has guided twelve students so far and guiding four students at present. Sir has around one sixty articles to his credit. With this brief introduction, I now request Dr. Ashok Rao to give us address. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. uh dignitaries on the days and of the days uh the corona times has taught us dignitaries on the days of the days and online so i thank the organizers for inviting me for the valedictory function of the international conference on recent advances in uh, fluid mechanics any conference is a gathering of people with common interest with the purpose of allowing them to meet one another and especially for the phd students who spend most of the time in libraries or their laboratories normally they are alone or sometimes they are in group and uh, the conference is a place where you know they will be meeting many people they make friends they have networks so i hope that 
many of the PhD students could get some collaboration maybe on the online mode and I'm sure that you have some new friends uh, perhaps on online mode. Um, Postgraduates as well as earlier career researchers and sometimes many of us also have something in common and that is the fear. So the fear could be meeting people, fear could be talking to people, fear could be asking questions, asking doubts or even interacting. So it doesn't mean that every one of us has that fear but some of us have. So conferences are the ideal environment to take care of these fears. And I'm sure that this three days conference must have removed the fear from some of you. During the three days conference, you must have met senior researchers as well as established professionals in online mode. Listening to talks and presentations must have helped you of thinking about a specific topic and must have given you new ideas. You may not have thought about them. So I hope that this conference was <coughs> useful in that sense. And uh, Professor Jagannath has already uh, declared that the conference would be in uh, MIT Bangalore. But uh, what I would like to say is that for the delegates who are from other institutes, uh, you could not come here on offline mode. And let me tell you that you miss a lot of places in and around Manipal, which includes temples, beaches, and in addition to the state-of-the-art facilities in MIT. So whenever again the turn of this conference comes to MIT, I'm sure that the delegates from outside will have the opportunity to see Manipal around. And at the end, I again thanks the organizers for inviting me for this. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We have with us Dr. Somashekara Bhatt, President of the Function on the Dayas who is a support system for all of us. I request Dr. Balachandra Hadimani from the Department of Mathematics and also one of the organizing secretaries to briefly introduce our John Director to the audience. <coughs> Thank you, Dr. Ashwini. Good afternoon to all respected dignitaries present on the dais of the dais and online board. I feel proud to be a part of ICRFM 2022. Also, I'm extremely overwhelmed to get this opportunity to introduce today's president of the function, Professor Somsekar Bhatt. Professor Somsekar Bhatt completed his B degree in 1990 from NMA. MIT in Karnataka. He completed his MTech in 1993 from NITK Suratkal, India. And uh, his, he completed his doctoral degree from uh, IIT Madras in 2008. He started his teaching career in 1990 from NMA, MIT, Nitek, Karnataka. From 1990 to 1995, he worked as a lecturer in, a lecturer in the college NME, MIT, NITE. Then from 1985 till date, he is working as a uh, working in various academic position in MIT Manipal. Presently, the professor is a joint director of uh, MIT Manipal. Earlier, he worked as a faculty in charge for the Department of Continuing Education and Student Counseling and uh, the PG program coordinator. IP Chair of Manipal Academy of Higher Education and the member of PhD Proposal Approval Committee of Mahe Manipal, Head of the Department of Electronic and Communication Engineering, MIT Manipal and Associate Director, Development Department. Presently, Professor uh, is a Joint Director of MIT Manipal. Also, in addition to that, the member of Student Welfare Committee, MIT Manipal guest faculty for Master of Arts in Eco Ecosophical Aesthetics of Gandhian Center of Philosophical Arts and Science, Mahi Manipal. He is also a member of many professional bodies, to name a few, member of IST, member of ISSS, and member of IE of Kodagu chapter, and member of uh, Kanara Sahitya Parishad. Professor also worked as a member of Board of Studies and Board of uh, examination in various graduate and undergraduate colleges uh, 
to name a few, as IIT Tumukur, VT, v, Visheshwaraya Technical University, Belgaum, Mangalore University, Goa Engineering College, etc. Professor guided six students for their doctoral degree, and presently four students were uh, pursuing their doctoral degree under his guidance. The professor has 22 publications with three patents to his credit. Professor, with this brief introduction, I request Professor Somsekar, but Joint Director of MIT Manipal, to address the gathering. Thank you, sir. Good evening. Good evening, Professor Tiparti. Good evening, Dr. Jagannath. Good evening to my colleagues on the stage, colleagues sitting in front of me, <coughs> and colleagues who are attending through online mode, my students. It was a long session, so probably you might be thinking when this is going to end. So before we end two, three points from my side. So me and my research scholars, we also work in the area of microfluidics. And when you talk of microfluidics, two, three things that comes to my mind is, one is whenever we want to introduce microstructures, one of the topic we introduce is scaling factor in the sense that so whatever object you want to describe you will describe in terms of three coordinates x y z and that gives you a volume and there are forces which are volume dependent there are forces that are surface area dependent if you talk of gravitational force, gravitational force is a volume dependent force. So whenever you talk of big structures, you talk of gravitational force and you do not talk of either a electrostatic force or magnetic force. So that means that if you would like to neglect those two forces, that means that those two have to be negligibly small when compared to the gravitational force, then your structure has to be bigger. Suppose you want to eliminate gravitational force and then make use of either electrostatic force or magnetic force, then you will have to scale down to a certain extent so that then you scale down all three coordinates by some factor volume goes down by cube because all three coordinates got reduced. So volume goes down by cube of the scaling factor. Surface area being length into breadth, it goes down by square of the scaling factor. So at a particular point, your surface area will become more than the volume and now suddenly the force which you are neglecting now starts becoming dominant. The force which was dominant suddenly starts becoming negligible. So when you talk of microstructures, there you don't talk of gravitational force. So you will try to exploit these forces or when you want to measure these forces, those structures are good. So as soon as you go to such structures, the surface effects come into picture and most of the equations that you have defined, you make lot of assumptions assuming that something can be neglected and so on. But as soon as this happens, something what you are neglecting becomes predominant, something which was dominant becomes negligible. So you will have to keep that in mind when you work on microstructures. As electronics engineers, what we did, just moving out of scaling, we were doing all our designs, our building circuits, 
we used to make use of the equations that were there. Using those equations, do your design. And then all the components that were required for my circuit to function, we buy it from the market, build it, and test it whether it will work as per my design or requirement. If it doesn't happen, then again go back using pen and paper, recalculate your design, buy the component again and do this. So what does this involve? One is your material, you are going to waste it. So earlier material what you bought is a waste, now you are buying new material. Another is the time. So every iteration you try to do, there is a wastage of material, time, money, your effort. So what did we do? We came up with digital equivalent of all those devices. You talk of a transistor or a MOSFET. So people who are called as, uh, what can I say, modeling people. The mathematicians, the physics people, they come up with equations that define the functioning of the device. So they gave us all the equations that will capture the physical behavior of our device. Be it diode, be it transistor or MOSFET. Someone came up with Ebel Mould's model for diode. And that was a very simple model. It was not capturing all the functions of the diode. Then people started improving the model and what is the effect of frequency, what is the effect of voltage, what is the effect of time. Capture all of that and give equations and once you have equations, you have computer with you that can design circuit for you using that. So now we do not design our circuit using these physical entities pen and paper. We make use of device model. When you talk of VLSI design, so all these device models are there. You use those models, design your circuit, simulate and test it whether it is functioning as per your requirement. If not, retune your design. Once you are satisfied that you go and real realize the circuit. And that again, today you do not build it using wire, the discrete component, you do all this in an integrated circuit. With that, the device became compact, the wires vanished and they are embedded inside the chip. With that, your device that is made out of this component became rugged. Even your mobile phone today drops 10 times, it continues to work. That is power of going for device modeling, doing design with that and then realizing. So today you would like to have, whether it is mechanical engineer or civil engineer or any domain, you would like to have digital equivalent of the device what you are talking of. That is why today you hear, hear something called as digital twin. So any object you talk of, you would like to have digital equivalent of that, your mathematical equations capturing all of that. When you talk of mathematical equations, when you talk of say micro channels, so you had discussed about blood flow in arteries, veins and modeling it. How does blood flows in these micro channels like arteries and veins? If you go to the tip of my toes or finger, that will have the veins with least diameter. A blood being so viscous fluid, how does that flow through that vein and after traveling it comes back to the heart. So if it is through the pressure that is applied from the heart pumping, then for that blood which is viscous to reach to the tip of your toes, what should be the amount of pressure heart should be putting it. If it is very large pressure that is putting it, then if I just pierce my veins, whether blood will rush out with that much pressure, it doesn't happen, no. So that means that it is not the pressure from the heart alone is making this blood to flow. So you find that if you look for um, 
YouTube channels, it will show you that these beans also have at stages the micro valves. So blood doesn't flow at one go. So one, once when you pump, blood goes little ahead, then the valves prevent it from coming back. So when you when the heart presses again, it goes to the next from one stage to the next stage. So that way the heart, the blood flows in your arteries and veins. Now you need to model this, you need to simulate this, and so that is your fluid mechanics. Now when you talk of microfluidic channels, it is not the fluid alone. So there is a there are applications where on one side, you have channels where the fluid is flowing. Below that, you will have heating elements. You supply voltage to those elements. It will heat. In the process, it will also heat the fluid that is flowing through the channel. So when you talk of that, you need expertise in thermodynamics. You need expertise in fluid mechanics. You also need to have expertise in electrical signals and how a power which is dissipated in a resistor is translated into heat. That means that you are talking of solving a problem which is multi-physics problem. And when you want to solve such problems, you need experts coming from multiple domains, putting their head together and solving such problem. And this conference is such an occasion where experts from thermal, experts from fluid mechanics, mathematical people coming together and trying to at least thinking of coming together, that is important because to solve any of these multi-physics problems, experts from multiple domain coming together is very, very important. I still remember when Zubair, Manjunath and all came together saying that from this year we would like to initiate a conference like this, which is multidisciplinary and multi-campus conference. We were so happy that yes, this has to be taken forward and that has already been realization. And I'm very happy that maths department has decided to associate it with this conference because whenever MSc students come to my, me for some signature, I always ask them, See, you could have joined any ordinary degree college, but you joined MIT Manipal. Joining MIT Manipal, you have one added advantage when compared to joining an ordinary college. That advantage is you are in an institute where there is maths, there is applied maths. All that maths, what you are doing, just discuss with your friends in engineering stream find out where your maths is getting applied. So this conference, I'm sure for the students from MSc Maths has given you an opportunity to know how maths is used by engineering discipline to solve some real life problems. So with this note, I thank the organizers for conceptualizing this conference and also I thank them for giving me an opportunity to share some thoughts of mine with you. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your insightful <coughs> thoughts. We believe that the reward of a thing well done is having done it. However, we would be falling short on our duty if we do not recognize a thing well done and encourage it. May I now request Dr. Nagaraj Katagi, Associate Director, Student Welfare, Professor from the Department of Mathematics, and one of the co-conveners of this conference to render the acknowledgements, please. Good evening to all of you. Uh, respected dignitaries, esteemed keynote speakers, my colleagues, and all the participants, a very good evening, uh, uh, good evening once again. At the outset, I would like to thank the Chief Guest, Dr. Dharmendra Tripathi from NIT Uttarakhand for gracing the occasion through virtual mode and enlightening us about the recent trends in research. Thank you, sir, for highlighting the interdisciplinary research in the field of fluid mechanics and mathematics and emphasizing its importance. 
I take this opportunity to thank the guest of honor of today's function, Dr. Jagannath K, Director, MIT Bangalore campus, for addressing the gathering and also uh, for elaborating the application of fluid mechanics in the real world problems. Thank you very much, sir. And uh, we assured, uh, assure you that our team will support the next upcoming series that I see are AFM 23 at Bangalore campus. Thank you, sir. I thank our joint director for his presidential remarks. Sir, you are a great source of inspiration in all our multidisciplinary activities. Thank you. I thank Dr. Ashok Rao, Associate Director for Research and Consultancy for his valuable inputs on the research activities and also the importance of the conference. Thank you, sir. I thank Dr. Sudhakar Ji, HOD Mathematics, Dr. Satyashankar Sharma, HOD Mechanical Engineering, and Dr. Dayanand Pai, HOD Aeronautical and Automobile Engineering for being with us and contributing to the success of this program. Thank you, sir. I thank all the HODs and faculty members of MIT for making it convenient to attend this event. Special thanks to Professor K.V. Prasad and Professor Hanamesh Vaidya from VSK University Bellari for their guidance and continuous support since the inception of this program. My sincere thanks to Press for covering the three-day conference the audiovisual team of M Mahe and all the supporting staff of MIT. Thank you, Dr. Ashwini Bhatt, for the nice comparing of today's function. Finally, I thank all the participants, all the ICRA MF, uh, FM 22 uh, T, uh, committee members and research scholars and students of all the three departments for participating and supporting this program. Thank you, one and all. Thank you, sir. We have a special note to our participants. The organizer will be sending your certificates to your registered in the email IDs, and we will also update you about the status of your full length paper. We have now reached the end of valedictory function. End of a story is the new beginning. On this note, let's conclude a remarkable, memorable, and knowledgeable event. Myself, Dr. Ashwini, your host for the day is signing off. Thank you, everyone.